If you're on YouTube, then drop me a comment. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit like, and let me know if it is helping you. Hi, Joe. Thank you for tuning in. Ah, here we go. It's suddenly jumping in. Hi, Michaela. Hi, John. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Tricia. Hi, Nikki. I hope you are all well. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Katie. Loads of you jumping on. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. We need to spread some positivity right now. Apologies for the lighting. My light thing is in my office, so I need to go and pick that up. <laughs> But you know what? You come to listen to me, really, not look at me. <laughs> That's what I'm telling myself today. Anyway, lovely to see so many of you jumping on. Have you had a good Christmas, all things considered? Have you managed to find some peace in your hearts? Bit of reflection. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Jill. Bit of hi, Kaz. Just a little bit of time to pause, recap. Thank you for sharing. Sharing is caring. Hi, Ian. There's a ghost from the past. You're still selling cars, love. <laughs> Hello, everybody. And yes, please share, share, share. Now, yesterday, many of you should have been feeling quite creative, suddenly getting some focus back, suddenly getting some energy um, and the focus being on work and business ideas. If that was you, drop me a little comment and let me know. We also got incredibly um, sort of powered up to communicate. Thank you for sharing, Sharon. To com thank you for sharing, John. To communicate in a much stronger way about our work and about our businesses and especially new business ideas. So yesterday and today, I don't know if you're high vibing it today as well, but it is all there. All that energy is coming in now to pump you full of drive to, against these odds to keep going. And I said, as I said in my month ahead, if your business is for the betterment of more people, if it's good for the community, etc., etc., then this year the universe, the energies are all behind you to have success. This month is a key month. It's the first month of this year, all right? And it is very much about moving forwards, stepping forwards, and being positive and focused and driven. If that is not you, you are not in your lane. You have not taken opportunities or you're not as open to the opportunities that you need to be seeing, you need to be attracting. And as I always say to people, eyes open, heart open, mind open. Lose the limitations of how you think your life, your business, your work should be and work intuitively on moving it forwards right now and the universe will right be right behind you. Now tomorrow, many of us will feel the need to get to the bottom of things, to get to the bottom of what is going on. And, you know, because of that, some people could have some secrets revealed. It could be that you are the one revealing secrets, but we certainly have this energy of questioning coming in. All right. And this kicks in around tomorrow. So because of that, just be very careful. We always have the two extremes, don't we? We have it on a positive and we have it on the negative. So we do have to watch for becoming obsessed about stuff, all right? And we also have to be watch as well with becoming paranoid. So just be a little bit mindful of that. Yeah, there is this need to get to the bottom of what is troubling us. Absolutely, all right? And tomorrow is key for that. But there is a need to just be very careful how we communicate things. We, ooh, hiccups. We could, I don't know who that was. <laughs> we could experience some relationship struggles. But because of it, and that can be our intimate relationship, or it can be, um, you know, with friends, work colleagues, bosses, where we feel something isn't quite right. It can be all of that. But there is this need as well to get very real. And some of you may, and this can be in business or this can be in your personal lives. Some of you may tomorrow realize that actually 
you've sat around too much and you're disorganized and you're going to start the first full week back at work tomorrow in chaotic energy. There is a need to get organized. If you are disorganized anywhere, whether it's your finances, your home life or your business, it is going to come to highlight to the highlight under the spotlight tomorrow. And because of that, we're going to need to get very real with how we are living and being and get bloody organized. You can't bring calm into chaos, yeah? And if you're in a storm, if you're in chaos, remember that it always is a reflection of what is going on on the inner. Sort that out. Now, when we get to the fifth, this is a great time for sharing ideas, a great time again for discussing relationships. So if you're looking for collaboration, if you're looking to, to find cooperation with work colleagues, business colleagues, whatever, around the fifth is a great time for sharing ideas, communicating those ideas and coming together to work with other people. And again, it's all about the projects, the work that serves and helps other people. If you are just out for yourself right now, you are going to struggle. End of. All right. So we also have to watch out this week, therefore, for power struggles. All right. Watch that this week. We also have to watch for overthinking. If you are anxiety based, be very careful. That even starts tomorrow because that questioning energy, nothing feeling quite right. That's when the anxiety can start to creep in. This is also very much a week for gaining that clarity, gaining that clear vision and expressing it. But we have to look after our own energy this week as well. That is really key because if you are being impacted by a lot of negativity, you're going to struggle to find your clear footing moving forwards and have that clear, clear vision and have those ideas and that creative flow. So be careful about energy of situations or the energy of other people that may be impacting you. Am I helping you so far? Let me know. Nikki, if you're really anxious about the school stuff, I know there's a load of schools that's trickling through um, saying they're closing, they're closing, they're closing. Ask the questions. Ask the questions so that you feel in, more in control, if you like, about making the decision in connection to schools and things like that. That would be my advice right now, Nikki. All right. But yeah, drop me a comment if that is helping you so far. Now, I know that a lot of you love your crystals, as do I. If you need, are looking for some clarity, if you need help with clarity... I want you to grab your clear quartz and I want you to grab your, I can't speak now, grab your fluorite. See, I've had a few weeks off. It's rubbish. My tongue don't know what to do with itself anymore. I've been too quiet. Um, so for clarity, clear quartz, <laughs> say it again, and fluorite. If you need help expressing yourself, then there is this need to look um, in your crystal collection or your local supplier and get the blue, I'm gonna say appetite, appetite, I'm not quite sure how you say that, but that's a beautiful blue crystal because it's about the throat chakra, it's about communication, so look for that one. If you are struggling to hear yourself and listen to yourself and notice yourself, then you need to get out that lapis lazuli. But if it's creativity you need, whether it's financial creativity or, you know, project creativity, then get out that citrine. Oils wise, again, for creativity, I'm going to recommend the bergamot. And if you need help with your focus, then lemon. And if you're feeling low, then quite frankly, start burning those orange based oils because they will always uplift you. So I hope that is helping you. Lots of yeses going on. Hi, Kath. Um, what I'm going to do now is switch over to the tarot to see what we can get you right now. Um, as always, I am going to say that readings are for entertainment purposes only. So pay attention, Mark, if you're drawn to fluorite. That is your soul telling yourself. According to Veronica, I did. <laughs> Appetite. Uh, it is pronounced <laughs> Veronica, my crystal speech coach, has told me that is absolutely right. 
I am saying appetite. Now, Veronica is an approved provider and approved seller on here. So if you're watching it live, you will see her in the comments and you will be able to reach out to her to see if she has that for you. Right then, let's see. This is a general reading for everybody watching because my purpose is to help as many people as I can, as quickly as I can to step forwards positively and passionately about their lives. So, this is a week for beginnings. I said that before, I'm going to say it again. It needs to be a beginning of what you love. If it's work, business, hobbies, whatever, whatever. It needs to be a week for beginning the energy of love. We are in quite tricky times and we need to be high vibing. We need to be surrounding ourselves with love in order to move forward. So spend as much time as you can this week doing the things you love and being with those you love wherever possible and just enjoying life. But you also need to be good to yourselves. You need to look after yourselves. You need to be putting that love into yourselves as well. And take the opportunities that will have you feeling well and feeling like all is well in your world. There is change here and making this change you know, as in grabbing these opportunities for love or to feel love, will mean that you are going through a big change. You are going to have opportunities to take changes. Always going to be up to you. You're here for free will. But remember, you've been putting a lot out into the universe. All those words, all those requests, they all come in eventually. So pay attention. Through some change going on around a lot of you watching this, this week there can be an opportunity for that love to begin and flow in. Now there are steps and actions to take this week that can lead you to um, a victory, a success somewhere. But you're going to have to intuitively do what you feel drawn to do. This is a month for intuition. So you need to intuitively do what you feel drawn to do. Even if it means that you are um, going to have to invest again in something else, whether that's time, love, focus, money, you know, you've invested a lot in the past, but now it just feels like for a lot of people watching this, it is time to invest somewhere else or some way else or doing something else. So be aware of that. There can be a lot of mixed emotions, a lot of confusion this week about what option to take, especially centered around anyone that either needs to move jobs, move homes, things like that, because it's all quite, still quite a shake-up season. If you didn't do your work in 2020, then you're going to have that to continue as the start of this year. So be mindful of that. Watch for that confusion. Watch for that confused thinking. It will be your emotions that are getting in the way of you finding your clarity this week. So be aware of that. Now, when it comes to work and business, are you catching all of this? Am I talking too fast? Let me know. <laughs> when it comes to work and business, there is a lot of limbo feeling, a lot of feeling on hold. And we have to watch again for, I'm going to say, for anxiety creeping in. Who here is feeling limbo in business? Drop me the word limbo in the comments. Because in business, you've got to watch with having anxiety creep in and keep you in that limbo state. Instead, what the advisories are today are to make some decisions and just get moving. You can make a different choice on Thursday, but just start to get moving. But the thing is as well, to not sweat over the details, not overthink the ins and outs of a duck's ass of what you've got to do and how it will pan out and how will it look and da-da-da. No one cares about the details right now. What people care about is you going for things, going for things, stepping forwards and having having some faith in yourself, in the universe, the divine, God, angels, whatever your belief system is. Have that faith and that trust to do what feels right and start to move forwards and to get yourself out of that limbo state. Some of you will have been resting on your laurels for too long. 
And you're really going to be shown this week that you need to move yourself forward. You've put yourself in this limbo state by not acting and that the time to act is coming in now. All right. So be aware of that. Lots of people will be going into new roles. That's where that emotional block can come in. But, you know, we go where we're needed and we do what we're needed to do. Often, for example, I've got friends who had to give up their therapy businesses and go back into teaching and um, ambulance service and things like that. You know, lose the conception that to be working as a healer, to be put here on this earth as a healer, for example, that you have to be going duh, 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 and doing the healing and charging the money and working it that way. Sometimes our role is to go to places to be around peace people and cast light in different ways. Be mindful of that. The only thing that can limit you in your abilities right now is your own mind. As, is that making sense? Let me know. Did that make sense? Or do I need to explain that better? Drop me a comment and let me know. When it comes to love and relationships, the timing is right now. The timing is really, really right. But So I've got many of you looking at the people who are in your world or the people you want to bring into your world. And in spite of what is going on, it is right to be handling and dealing things when it comes to relationships. The trick, as always, is going to be the give and take, the level of give and take. So a lot of you will be looking at the relationships you are in and having a look at them from a what does what do they bring to the table, um, what do they give me, what do I get out of this relationship, but also what am I putting into it, all right? So it's all about the balance of relationships, okay? So be aware of that. Now, when it comes to um, spiritual growth, all right, there is this need to know that the messages are coming to you, the nudges, the signs, and I often relay my stories, talking of stories, have you grabbed a copy of my book? Drop me a comment if you've ordered a copy of my book, let me know. My journey of awake, it's just a little book, a little, little book just to share my um, journey of awakening with you. But it is a need, there is this need to spiritually drop that, that defense position and recognize that you need to allow the messages to come in. You need to hear things, you need to feel things. Messages, spirit, divine, God, whatever you, you call your belief is felt. It's felt in the heart. It's felt in your soul. Oh, Sharon, did you like it? Let me know. Um, it's all about that. It really is. So there is the need to stop protecting that heart chakra, stop protecting the emotional layers and allow it to come to you. All right. Does that make sense? Let me know. There is this need, you see, to open up. Everyone has gone into this sort of recoil, self-defense, hiding energy. You understand? Now, yes, again, this, as I said in my month ahead, this is a month where we will constantly retreat back into home. But it doesn't mean that energetically you can't be open to receive the abundance that the universe is trying to send you. You have to be open to communication this week in all areas if you want the abundance back in. So again, I'm going to say, open your heart, open your inbox, <laughs> and don't be too dismissive on the offers and opportunities, whether it's for jobs personal growth, experiences, whatever. Just conversation. Open up and allow it into your world, all right? So some of you will feel like you're in the recovery position this week, to be perfectly honest. Maybe that's too much booze, too much food, who knows? But what it is, is there is a need to heal, there is a need to let go, and then there is a need to come up fighting this week, you have to come up fighting, but in order to do that, many of you watching this are going to need to take an opportunity, all right? Take an opportunity in order to step forwards and move forwards. Is that making sense? Drop me a comment and let me know. 
So it is a powerful week, lovelies. It really, really is. Now, if you are watching this on the YouTube replay, please subscribe and drop me a comment. And if you do, then you are in for a chance to win a free reading with myself. I give away one a month. So you have to have subscribed and you have to have com commented to be in with a chance. Now, I will drop into the description boxes the links to my spiritual mentoring program, my new book, which I'm pleased to see some of you have been reading. That was hard to write. I have to tell you that was hard to write. Not only because it's so removed from me that to go back and feel all of that and write that was huge. Um, so, and I'll also drop a link in to show you how you can get a monthly um, reading as well. Now, what I'm going to do is say goodbye to you here and have an amazing week.